ASMR. Today we're going to be doing another previews catalog flip through. This is the June catalog and the contents within it should ship in August. So as you know we have the big old phone book here and then we have two smaller previews books and this one's for DC and the others for Marvel. And we're actually going to start with DC for today. Right off the bat, we see a talking point. Batman, one more day. Uh, this says the Riddler, number one. So, worst enemies start in their greatest stories yet. So, I'm wondering if it's going to be a series of one-shots since the first one says the Riddler. I would assume Riddler is the first. Uh, but maybe there'll be others that follow. Like, I know Jim Lee showed a what-if cover for Two-Face that he said he wasn't going to use with the hashtags of One Bad Day and stuff. So, so if that's what happens, that'd be pretty cool. Because I was under the understanding it was just the Riddler, not all the other villains, too. So, then we see advertising here for Batman 126. Chip Zdarsky will be writing it at this point. Uh, so here are some of the interiors. So yeah, the art is by... The art is by Mitch Gerards. So it's going to be more gritty. I liked Mitch's work on um, Mr. Miracle. I'm trying to read more of it here and see. are all given 64. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's going to be each villain. Riddler, Two-Face, Penguin, Mr. Freeze, Catwoman, Bing, Clayface, and Ra's al Ghul. We begin with Riddler. Okay, so cool. It's going to be a series of 64 page um, ones here. Oh, the one in 100. It looks like it's a Brian Bolland. Oh, man. <laughs> That's the one I'd want the most. So that's eight dollars for these two. I'm assuming square bound mature as well. So that's gonna be exciting. And that's on sale August 16th. Dear Detective is another one I was talking about. So all of Lee Bermeo's covers are gonna be collected in a big old book. And put in a sequential order. He said he had a story to it. Uh, I don't see dimensions here. I was led to believe that it will be a bigger, you know, like almost 11 by 17 size. But I'm seeing the price point at $8. So I think it might just be a regular size, like square bound special maybe. I'll still get it, of course. But if you missed out any on Lee's covers, they'll be all collected there. And we have Detective Comics 1063. Uh, and then this is, the, they're doing like a weird opera theme in Detective Comics. So I was wondering if that was already done at this point of the promotion. It hasn't even started in the books yet, but. We have some Azrael books here. Another deceased. <laughs> I've been buying all the deceased stuff since it came out. I don't know if I'll get this one or not, though. It's going to be an eight part mini series, it looks like. Uh, with Dark Crisis. I'm tempted to follow Dark, Dark Crisis, and I might. Maybe not all the spin offs, but definitely the regular book. This cover looks pretty cool, too. Green Lantern's looking awesome there. So, and then, yeah, they've got all these, like, one-shots and stuff. I don't think I need all that except for the uh, Young Justice ones. Just because I love the Young Justice so much. And then Poison Ivy's doing her thing. That's a nice cover. Ah, uh, look at this. Detective Comics facsimile number one. I'm probably going to get that. 
Detective Comics 27 just because it looks like this is a ton of John Boy looks like John Boy's doing there's a cover run here for Harley Quinn yeah he sure is cool so you guys know I love John Boy so there's a bunch of his Harley covers So let me know down below, guys. Are you picking up any other stuff? Are there things that you know on the horizon you want to pick up? I always love hearing about it. So and we got Dark Knights of Steel and Vampires collected there, which I haven't read. I didn't pull the trigger on those, but if you have, let me know if you read and, and enjoyed them. Some young adult graphic novels here. I hate how they have the tiny promos in the back. So, this is all just kind of your standard fare here. I like this Robin cover. Right, killing time number six. So, that's the conclusion there. see the uh, Red Hood series there at number two. It looks like some more DC vampire spinoffs here. Future State Gotham is going to wrap soon. I really thought it was going to be done at issue 10. Nightwing is nearing its issue 100 there at 95 there. Same with Robin. I thought it was going to end at 12. It's number 17 there. That's crazy. Son of Kal El 14. I didn't think that was going to end, but. So, yeah, those, there's no normal Superman book, though. That's taking the spot of Superman, so that's so weird. Because that's his kid, that's not him. And I think this is the conclusion, yeah. Last issue of Swamp Thing, 16. I don't have any of those, but they're always good. Batman Hush, Long Halloween, lots of classics. Going into more printings. Punchline collection there, that's good. If you like her, but you haven't been reading all the obscure side stuff she's been in. I think I have all of it. And there's your checklist. Now let's move on to the Marvel one. So we have Marvel. It's going to do the Fortnite crossover thing like DC did. Fantasy issue 1000. And then, yeah, here's Fortnite. And then we have Avengers vs. X Men vs. Eternals. <laughs> Judgment Day. And I might get this too. Just not all of the spin offs. How can you not, right? I hate that it's like, hey, remember how it was X-Men vs. 
versus Avengers, like, when we moved here. <laughs> and this is, like, ten years later or whatever. So it looks like it's going to be affecting a bunch of books, including Spider-Man, so that's kind of surprising. Fantastic Four, I kind of had a feeling. Yeah, so these, it's going to be a five-part miniseries for five bucks. I wonder if it's going to be um, in bags like it, they did for DZ. And then, yeah, each first print issue. So you got to get the first printing, so that's going to be interesting. That's going to add some additional value to these for sure. Digital cosmetic. And then all these fun, amazing fantasy 1000. I can't even count the number of varied covers there. It's going to be $8.72 pages. I like the peach cover there. It almost looks like Tom Holland, just a tad, not too much, but he definitely looks younger there. Edge of the Spider-Verse. Oh, so this is just starting up. Although the movie got delayed, unfortunately. Uh, looks like it's almost going to be weekly here, maybe, if I'm seeing three out of five already within the month. Let me see our Captain America books. Nothing to stand out from, from what I've read yet, unfortunately. That one shot was good, but then it was like, hey, pick up the regular books when they come out. And then I read uh, the Sam Wilson one, and it was just okay. But and it looks like X-Men 92 is going to wrap here. That's one I enjoy. I think it's weird this Black Spidey's in some like weird costume. I know I saw an image he's getting a goblin glider and stuff too, so I'm not sure what all that's about. And then Wolverine's in there, so that's kind of interesting.
but yeah, anytime Alex Ross does interior, it looks like he's going to be doing some different things, not just the painting, but anytime he works on something, I love it, so. That's cool, so they've got an omnibus for House of M.
this video actually. It's literally on the top of my stack. Uh, the All Ages Star Wars books are going to be going to um, Dark Horse. They were at IDW, but I uh, got passed off to Dark Horse, so it'll be interesting to see if they can do something good with it, because it hasn't been doing much for um, IDW, I guess. section here. pale kids are coming back in full swing here.
red spotlight here. I don't know why they show it now, though, because, like, I, this stuff is not coming out till August, so why would you show it for June? Should it be in shops in June? Uh, looks like some of it is for June delivery, so I guess here's some stuff you can look at. Looks like it has some good art here at L's. Art looks good though. Yeah, I just love whenever books are able to use different styles.
just now. section. Yeah, I just played through this game with my kid. <laughs> I'm probably gonna buy this on my next paycheck. We'll see. I watched the movie a long time ago, but of course, there's been re-injected interest after we played the game. So we just played it on like the e easiest difficulty, but it was still a lot of fun. So this is interesting. Evanescence has a book coming out here. I don't even know what this is. Features adaptations of bands, musical catalog, and short stories. Created by graphic artists, animators, illustrators. So that's cool. I will probably be checking that out. And it looks like they've got other type of stuff too. They got a disturbed one up here. That's interesting. I love all types of music too. Anytime you can blend music with, you know, graphic images. I love like the wall and, you know, the gorillas and videos and stuff. And Daft Punk stuff like that. Anytime there's animation. Yellow Submarine, of course, you know. I'm all about that. Spider-Man first 80 years. I'll probably get that and do a video on the channel, of course. I did one for uh, Captain America a while back.
catalog. I need to get these. I love the uh, animated X-Men figures here. They look, look, they come in like v VHS boxes and stuff. That's a cool Venom too after the uh, Lethal Protector. That's crazy. I might have to check that one out too. Maybe. Offering the retro turtle stuff again. I might have to get some of this too. I am rounding out my own collection now, and they have a last run in one too. I think I'll be getting these. I have all of this stuff up here. Well, not this, but you know, the original four, which they've been having them show up in Walmart recently too. watching that show with my daughter. We're not very far into that either. They just made it into the city, I think. That's going to do it. As always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to buy from this catalog. Let me know what you're excited about. Uh, let me know anything down below. Hit that bell so when we go live, you can be a part of the conversation. And as always, you all have a super slumber. Thanks. Bye.